Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are back on the website of Gardner Hallgate Auctioneers based in the UK and we're going to have a look at the latest catalogue of their kind of multiple uh, guitar and musical instrument related auctions. This particular auction is mainly uh, amps and kind of effects, other stuff to do with guitars and memorabilia, all of that kind of stuff. Um, this auction is finishing on the 8th of September, it's the 7th today, so uh, not too long till that's up. There's 573 lots, so quite a lot of stuff. We're just going to do a, like a brief overview of this particular auction. Uh, usually I like to do it like quite in depth really if I can, but this auction is just a bit too too much really to do that and also it's not quite as interesting as some of the other ones so we're just going to skim over it and i'll put the link in the description so you can check it out in your own time if you're interested in looking at anything further uh, as always with gardener hallgate it's 26.4 percent is the buyer's premium what you pay on top of the hammer price uh, as always this is a uk based auction so bear in mind shipping and import export fees restrictions etc if you are uh, outside of uh, the UK. Um, so without further ado, I think we'll just kind of crack on really and just um, see if we can get through this quite quickly. Like I said, just because it's really quite a lot of things and some of it is um, not that super interesting. So it seems that there's quite a few Gary Moore related items in this auction. Uh, so perhaps we should kind of give these a bit more uh, of a, a look. Um, so let's kind of go through this. So we've got a Gary Moore, a Marshall Model 1962 JTM45, 50 watt tremolo uh, blues breaker amp. So that is Gary Moore collection. Uh, Gary Moore 1984 Marshall Model 4210 JTM800, 50 watt lead uh, amp there. So you see stage used for charity event there you can see all the details if you look a bit uh, closely but this is all Gary Moore related stuff Gary Moore 2009 Marshall model C5 class 5 uh, guitar amp little mini stack here Marshall MS4 mini battery powered stack, stack. Gary Moore again this is an interesting uh, 1960 Selma Futurama bassist guitar amp it's quite interesting and a Vox AC1 mini combo battery guitar amp. Uh, Gary Moore and Lemmy, a Galen Kruger 250ML 2x5 combo. Uh, we're on to kind of pedals here, so we might just quickly go into the, the overview to make things a bit uh, bit easier. I said a lot of stuff in this uh, in this auction. So more Gary Moore stuff here. It's the Orion uh, HU8500 stage tuner there. Uh, another one here. A Boss CH1 Super Chorus there. 1986 Boss DM3 Delay. Got a Boss Legend series. Uh, Bassman pedal. We've got a volume pedal there, the FV100, FV200, the keyboard volume pedal. Uh, LS2 line selector there by Boss, uh, RV1 rocker volume there from the 1980s, Boss RE20 space echo there, more Gary Moore stuff, Boss RT20 rotary sound uh, kind of pedal, Boss RV2 digital reverb 1988, that's cool, SD1 super overdrive there, a classic TU2 uh, tuner there well, the estimate is probably fairly standard so far uh, 1980s crystal audio uh, Dallas Arbiter uh, the fuzz face there um, it's a Dunlop uh, Dallas Arbiter uh, fuzz face pedal there Digitech bad monkey tube overdrive there more Gary Moore stuff Digitech hothead distortion uh, X series Digiverb, another X series Digiverb, Digitech Hardwire RV7, Stereo Reverb, uh, Artist series of Jimi Hendrix kind of uh, while there, Digitech uh, Whammy guitar pedal there, 
Digistick X Series Digi Delay. N never really super a fan of kind of Digi Tech stuff myself. I always prefer the Boss, but all personal preference. Uh, Dinosaur uh, Sorrel a Tube Bender uh, pedal there. Interesting. A bit more information. Uh, a Dodd FX102 Mystic Blues Overdrive, interesting company. A Dodd, that's uh, another fuzz face there. Uh, Dumlop, uh, Jimi Hendrix Wire again, another fuzz face. This is the Oct Octavio pedal there, Jimi Hendrix Dunlop. Dunlop Crybaby again, another Crybaby, yeah, quite a few of them. Dynatain Smoothie Guitar pedal there. Electro Harmonics, uh, Germanium Fuzz, I think. Holy Grail, there. Uh, Holy Grail again. Small Clone pedal. Electro Harmonics Graphics uh, Fuzz. Uh, full Turn OCD Overdrive Distortion. Ibanez CS9 Stereo Chorus. Ibanez LS10 Dual Loop Selector. That's an interesting looking pedal. Uh, we've got a JMI Range Master treble boost there. Line 6 pod and effects pedal, another Line 6 bass pod. We've got the Line 6 MM4 modulation uh, modeler. Then you've got the distortion modeler, the delay modeler, and a pedal. Maxon DS830 distortion, Maxon AD999 uh, pedal, uh, MXR stereo chorus there. Custom Shop GT Overdrive there, Pro Cat, Proco Rat, sorry, Mark One pedal he has kind of a bit of bit of everything. Um, Nineteen eighty three Roland RE five hundred one Chorus, Roger Mayer Stone Fuzz there, Solar Sounds Color Sound Fuzz, another Solar Sound Color Sound Tone Bender, Charlie Stringers. Uh, Snarling Dogs Why No Wah, interesting. TC Electronics Stereo Chorus, TC Electronics Booster there, TC Electronics Nova Reverb, I remember when they came out. Go more T Rex Alberta guitar pedal, T Rex Doctor Swamp pedal, T Rex uh, Mud Honey Distortion, T Rex Muller Booster Overdrive, T Rex Rep uh, Delay, these are really nice actually, these T Rex pedals. T-Rex Roommate, uh, T-Rex Tremolo Guitar, T-Rex Twin Boost, some Tube Works, Real Tube uh, Reverb, another one here, 1990s Vox V847 Wah Wah, Exotic Effects AC Booster, Exotic Effects RC Booster, uh, there's a preamp there, Zoom 504 Acoustic Pedal, Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer Classic, Korg EXP foot controller, Maxon SD5 Sonic Distortion, Ibanez TS808 uh, Tube Screamer, Dr. Rhythm Drum Machine, CD Recorder, there's still going more stuff, Power Amplifier there by Huffler, uh, KRK 9000B uh, Studio Monitors, uh, Gary Moore and Neil Carter, that's a Korg BX3 uh, Electric Organ. Here's a Alesis drum machine there. Tascam mixer there. Tascam Porter Studio there. Digital rhythm there. Yamaha X11. Yamaha MD4 multi track. That's all the kind of stuff here. Uh, Tascam 8 track recorder there. Another 8 track, another 8 track recorder. Uh, Gary Moore or a sound drum thumper that's interesting loads of flight cases this is all Gary Moore stuff let's not kind of go into super details but if you're a Gary Moore fan then there's some interesting stuff here so we don't want to go and spend too much time uh, Gary Moore stuff and I think that's the end of the Gary Moore thing so we've got uh, David Rotheray the beautiful south Owned and used two 2012 Gretsch Electromatic Baritone guitar. Uh, David Rotheray again. Owned and used Airline Resoglass three-quarter electric guitar. 
David Rotheray again. This is uh, Hofner 19146 double neck electric guitar. Interesting looking things. David Rotheray again, Suzuki Q chord. This weird kind of thing. John McKenzie 1979, Ibadez, uh musician MC94 bass guitar. Made in Japan. John McKenzie Fender Jazz Bass, fretless there. Let's have a quick look what, uh, what else we're on to now. I think I've somehow screwed that up, unfortunately, by switching out to the so danger of messing about. So I think we'll have to carry on back here. We'll get back on track again. Um, some more John McKenzie stuff here. John McKenzie 2014 Fender Marcus Miller bass. Uh, John McKenzie Fender Jazz Bass Plus. Um, there's a John McKenzie and Super Tramp. This is uh, 1970s Fender Precision 2 to 4000. So that's fairly kind of substantial. Let's just go back and see if we can. Yep, that's better. Um, large selection of kind of various John McKenzie related passes Tommy Emmanuel there you go autographed uh, vintage V300 acoustic guitar this is all the kind of famous people stuff Francis Rossi status quo it's the early 70s it looks like a Vox AC 30 yeah Albert Lee autographed 2011 music man guitar And a Jar Wobble Public Image 1979 Magnum bass guitar. I think this is one of my favourite looking bass guitars. I think these are pretty awesome. Then we have Dave Grohl and Pat Smear, Foo Fighters. Got a Gretsch uh, White Falcon hollow body. So 15 to 30,000 there. It's fairly substantial. Here's some other kind of bits from famous people and a few books, autograph stuff, a little bit out of our remit, but it's all kind of interesting. Saxon autographed Encore nylon string guitar there. Some pretty random stuff. Uh, Morgan Joss Smith signature amplifier there, Victoria amplifier, double deluxe, 2000 Marshall valve state amp there. 1979 Marshall GMP. 2003 Marshall JCM 2000 Dual Super Lead, 1960s Supro Coronado model amp, 1962 Fender Super amp, Merson Mini Max model amplifier there, interesting early kitchen Marshall PA, when Watkins dominated 25 bass guitar amp, 1970s Laney Clip L100 guitar amp, these are always pretty cool I think. HH Electronics guitar amplifier kind of head uh, 1960s Gibson Mercury 1 guitar amplifier I've actually always wanted uh, one of these I have to say I don't really know why but uh, I think they're really really interesting maybe I should kind of uh, investigate uh, them at some point um, I've got some cabs here JCM 800 1960 lead cab 2012 Marshall 1960 AV Vintage Cab 2011 Marshall 1960 BV Vintage Cab DV Mark DV Little Guitar Amplifier 1960s Gretsch 6152 uh, Compact Tremolo Reverb Amplifier there Bugera Vintage VI Infinium Guitar Amplifier plus some other uh, kind of PVPA mixer, Meridian mixer Ashdown Essex Blonde uh, guitar amp, early 1980s Fender Deluxe Reverb, Mark Bass Micro Mark, Fender 57 Custom Champ guitar amp, 1972 Marshall uh, T1959 Super Tremolo, and kind of some cabinet there, Marshall G30 RCD guitar amplifier uh, with a Roland Cube and a standard lead amp. 2001 Marshall 
AS50R acoustic solo guitar amp, orange micro terror, Chase Elliott GP7 bass guitar amp, vintage bass valve uh, guitar amplifier, a few other kind of bits and pieces there, Roller micro cube, Ampeg SVT classic bass guitar and cabinet, amp and cabinet, Roland Cube Street. Uh, 1980s Evan FET 500 custom guitar amp, Fender custom Vibrasonic here, Fender Tremolux amp, that's quite cool, and it's stack there, matching stacks 1963, that's pretty cool, matches DC30 guitar amp head, Laney VC15 guitar amplifier, 1950s Gibson BR9 guitar amp, Clicked on the wrong thing there. Guitar recording speaker coffin enclosure. It's interesting. Black Star Amplification Series 145 amp. Allen Pines 60 watt AC60 type guitar amp and a couple of speakers. 1990s Fender Blues Junior guitar amp. Roland Cube 30 bass uh, guitar amplifier. 1987 Marshall JCM 2550 model amp. Uh, Rivera Sedona uh, guitar amp, Th uh, Thwart Space Tone guitar amplifier, that's pretty random. Fender Champ guitar amp, Fender Deluxe guitar amp, some old school ones there, 1970s Watkins ER40 guitar amp head, 2018 Marshall 1974 guitar amplifier, THD hot plate guitar amplifier power attenuator, 1970s Park 8 watt guitar amp. Fender Anniversary Edition Woody Pro Junior Guitar Amp Epiphone Valve Junior in its little cabinet Th uh, Supro Thunderbolt uh, Guitar Amp Rare Supro Tremo Electric 3x10 Guitar Amp Gibson Super Goldtown GA Goldtone GA 30RV Guitar Amp Pair of 1970s High Watt uh, Speakers uh. Vox AC30 HWH Amplifier and cab, late 1970s Vox Foundation bass amp, Vox AC10 twin guitar amp. Got some orange kind of uh, amp there, practice amp, another orange mini crush Mark bass amplifier head there, more Mark bass mini amps, Marshall Valve State power amp, Sub Zero acoustic amp there, Marshall acoustic amp. Redstone guitar amp, Laney Pro line, uh, Laney Pro linebacker uh, bass head, PB Ultra Plus guitar amplifier head, 1997 Marshall uh, cabinet there, Hartke Transient Attack MOSFET bass uh, head and cab, Roland Jazz Chorus 80 there, Laney LA60 acoustic amp, it's a 1976. Marshall 50 watt red toilet guitar amplifier head box. It's quite a lot for just the box. Interesting looking box there. Eh? Fender Deluxe guitar amp. 2014 Marshall DSL 5C guitar amp. 2002 Marshall Bass State amp. Vox AD120 VT guitar amp. Marshall JCM 800. Roland JC85 E Jazz Chorus 85. 2000 Marshall Valve State AV1. AVT 150 guitar amp, 1997 Marshall Valve State, PV Supreme guitar amplifier head, Vox Valvetronics pedal uh, system, late 1970s Vox 125 lead guitar amp, Vox speaker cabinet there, Dr. Z, Z verb tube driven reverberation head, Dr. Z twin 8 ohm speaker cabinet, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, th Deluxe 3 guitar amplifier, Ampeg bass guitar amplifier. In the rack unit, Polytone Mini Brute guitar amp, three kind of smaller amplifiers, Orange Micro Terra 20 watt, Leslie Model Rotary speaker, PV Pro uh, Solo series amp there, 1972 Marshall PA20 model guitar amp, pair of Marshall column speakers, 1960s Ampeg guitar amp, High Watt SA212 50 watt combo amplifier, using Kettner. A warp cabinet, Roland Cube 100 bass guitar, custom 66 dart guitar amplifier, and now we're getting on to some more effects pedals here, so it's Rothwell, uh, 
uh, Neu Neighbor, Homebrew T Rex again, some more boss stuff, classic Ebo there. Um, if we see anything super keely modded pedals there, uh, Big Muff, the Electro Harmonics, Copycat, all the kind of classic uh, pedals here. Boss uh, guitar effects processor, Ooh, some Dan Electro ones, these are always quite sweet little things, more tape uh, delays here, the classic uh, WEM tape delays, more kind of stuff here, interesting early 1980s Ibanez multi effects unit, that's kind of a bit uh, different, 1960s Jennings repeater guitar pedal, that's uh, definitely an interesting one, 1960s Avon Supervice super voice guitar voice box some other pedals here some pogs more boss pedals electro harmonics that's interesting crayon pedal some more wires other kind of bits like that more general pedals some interesting stuff here definitely worth kind of looking at in a bit more detail some mark bass pedals a few cases here it's always interesting now we're into kind of some different pickups and parts and all of this stuff and we're on to the last page now here's some guitar parts some tuners other things like that there's some guitar bodies and parts more pickups more little bits there some clemsier camps clamps these are really good for guitar makers some bending irons also useful little ibex carving thumb planes there's some luthiers tools in here as well other kind of bits some these look quite nice actually these are gilbert guitars um classical guitar machine heads these look pretty pretty nice so you should get some interesting stuff an old classical guitar body some books and that's it basically uh, that was a very brief kind of rough overview of this auction it is has some really really interesting stuff it's just a little bit difficult sometimes to to go through it all uh you know pedal by pedal it's a bit too too much and maybe not as interesting as some of the other stuff so yeah just a brief overview really of this auction i'll put a link in the description and definitely check it out because there's a lot of interesting stuff some good information if you're interested in amplifiers or guitar pedals there's some really really good stuff here and like i said i've just kind of really casually just kind of gone over this auction so i definitely recommend that you kind of have a look at the listings if you're interested in any of this stuff so once again thanks a lot for watching uh, this brief video uh, and i'll catch you next time ciao many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon